everybody, my name is Allison. I'm the Programs, Outreach, and Youth Services Manager here at Monterey County Free Libraries. Thank you for joining me today for another episode of Backyard Science. Today we are going to be talking about stick bugs or walking sticks. I am particularly interested in this topic right now because I have weirdly been seeing a lot in my backyard and even one in my house. The first one that I saw was actually in my laundry room and I genuinely thought it was a stick. And when I went to go pick it up to toss it outside, I noticed that it had little legs and a little antennae, and then I realized that it was a stick bug. I later saw a couple on our back fence and have since been on the lookout to see if I can find more in our backyard. Because I had seen them around, I wanted to learn some more about them. So I looked up some facts and did some research, and I'm here to share that with all of you. First, I learned that there are 3,000 different species of stick bugs or walking sticks, and they are found all over the world. So it's not surprising that I found some in my backyard. They can live up to two years, and they feed on leaves and different things in the yard. As I said, there are many different kinds, but they are distinguished by their features that cause them to camouflage with their surroundings and look like sticks. So some might have little bumps and ridges on them, some might just be straight, they have different markings, all of which make them camouflage to look like sticks. Indian walking sticks can even change their coloring to camouflage into different surroundings. As a defense mechanism, if they are scared or threatened, they can release a spray chemical that has a horrible stink to it. Luckily, in my investigations, I didn't startle anybody or experience this smell. The longest stick insect is the saw-footed stick insect of Southeast Asia at 13 inches. That's a little bit an inch longer than a ruler that you might find at home or in your classroom. One really interesting thing that I learned is some female stick insects don't actually need a male in order to produce eggs. They can create the eggs themselves, fertilize the eggs themselves, and produce more stick insects, all of which will be females. Because of that, male stick insects are actually fairly rare. There are definitely more female stick insects out there than male. In doing my research, I found a couple of cool books that we had in our collection that I want to share with you so that you can do some more research on these critters and any other critters that might be in these books. The first one is called Cool Facts, Creepy Crawlies, Over 100 Questions and Answers to Things You Want to Know. And this is written by John Stidworthy and illustrated by Michael Posen. And this had a section on stick insects in it, as well as some other really cool creepy crawly critters. The other book that I got information from is called Spiders and Bugs Around the World. And this is produced by Smart Apple Media. So again, both of these books are in our collection along with many other books about bugs, insects, creepy crawlies, whatever you wanna call them, we have a book on it. You can also check out our online resources on our webpage and look at some of our online resources and databases to help you find out some more information. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm gonna to close out this video with some footage of the stick bugs that I found in my yard. If you found anything cool in your yard recently, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. Thanks for joining me and have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.